So a lot happened today that I wasn't able to film because my camera wasn't charged. But this morning we went to the Atlanta Aquarium and then tonight we're going to a restaurant called Tapas. But before then, I have to work on my outline for my second TED Talk, which is due tomorrow. So I'll be headed down to the lobby, which you can see behind me, to get that work done. So already I've had a meeting with some of the content directors of TED, basically giving them an idea of the structure of my talk. So roughly speaking, I want to open my TED Talk with a story about an Uber driver that I had that taught me a lot about ambition from his own life. And then I'll segue into a historical timeline of ambition from early conquerors to early fiction writers, um, mythical and religious portrayals of ambition. Then I'll move into the more corporate political sphere, the big events that showcase ambition in different ways. And from there I'll move into what I regard as the problem with ambition and well the rest is to follow but that's as far as i'm looking to get today is really scripting out each of those sections as to what i want to talk about and what i'm looking to convey to my listeners and my readers readers just my listeners if you don't make a thing no one loves no one's one you try to everything so as I've been doing preparation for this talk and particularly reading different books and uh, articles on the matter of ambition, I've come across a guy, his name is William Casey King, and he writes a book called Ambition from Vice to Virtue. And it's basically a book that looks at the conceptions of ambition over the history of the West. So from early, early thinkers, Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, to early writers and poets, Dante, Shakespeare. And uh, he makes this really compelling argument for why we should try to change the way that we understand ambition, especially because it's been vilified by a lot of these early thinkers and religious texts. So it's a very interesting read in case you want to check it out, but I'm reading it personally just to get an understanding of what other scholars on ambition have said and what they've concluded in their analyses. Okay, so I've been writing for some time now. Here's what I've got so far. So that's basically the timeline of ambition that I've been trying to construct. So it looks at different categories from early conquerors to philosophical thinkers, politicians, movements, myths and stories, religious ideas about ambition. Pretty comprehensive. Oops, I'm tilting this the wrong way. 